it. This app is useful for freelancers. Freelancer will be getting clients worldwide. So with the help of this app, we can make currency conversions and then we can keep a track of his income and expense. So we make use of Firestore database and Android Studio. So here first we get our splash screen after which we get our sign in page. If the user is already registered using his email ID and password, we can sign in. If he is a new user, he needs to fill certain details, then he can click on sign up and he can get registered. So as a new user gets registered in our Firebase database, uh, that user gets added and the Firebase database automatically gives that user a unique user ID. So here we have two users and the two users have two unique user IDs. Now if the user already has an account, he can just sign in. Now here in the sign in method, we have enabled email and password. So the user using his email and password, he can sign in. So here we click on the sign in button. So it shows us a message login is successful and we go to our uh, home page. Now we here we have our Firestore database. Now this Firebase will have a collection and the collection will have documents and the document has many fields. Here we have our two collection one is money and one is users. And the document name is the unique user ID, unique user ID. And inside the document, we have many fields. So inside our users uh, collection, we have two documents and of which we have the details of the user. So we will see here what happens in the back end. Here we create the variables required. Then here we create one database instance. Now here we check is the user already logged in. So if the user is already logged in, we directly go to the user profile page. That is this page. Now if the user is not logged in and if he is a new user, so on click of the register button, here we tell what should happen. So whatever we have filled in our text field, it should get converted. We take it, we, we convert it into a string and then we store it in these variables. And here we check, uh, is the email field empty? If the email field is empty, we show an error, email is required. If the password is empty, we show password is required. And we have set a constraint that the length of the password should be greater than eight. So if it is less than eight, uh, this error message will be dis displayed. Length should be greater than 8. Then here we have created a database variable. Then we call this inbuilt this create users with email and password is an inbuilt function. We pass email and password. So now if the email and password is there, so if the task is successful, we call this save account information. The save account information is uh, defined below. So, so in the save account information, first in current user ID, we store the user ID of the current user. Then we create a database instance. Now we create two maps. Uh, so uh, two maps, this two maps is used for our two collection. One is the user's collection and one is our money collection. Now in this each, this is our user's collection and this is our money collection. So each record will get stored in the form of a key value pair. So this is our key and this is the value for that. So here first we create a map. So in user map one, we put all these values in user map two, we do all these values. 
then we have in our app then we have in our app um, this few buttons here um, this is our user profile here in user profile we only have the few buttons so now here on click convert so on click convert here we enter our we, need, we can enter our amount and uh, so now we are converting here 500 indian rupees to uh, usd so on click convert button we get that 500 indian rupees is 6.5 usd so in the same way we convert we can convert it to euro so we get the result here so now here in the back end uh, we create two spinner variables uh, we create objects then we have a string here which has Indian rupees, USD and Euro. And this is used for the drop down here. Here we have our drop down which has Indian rupees, USD and Euro. And the same, this is for from, this is for to. Now on click convert button, uh, the following calculations will take place. Then we have our income tracker here. Um, so here in our money collection we go to our logged in user and then we add our income we'll add 500 we'll add income added successfully and income gets added here so in the same way, if we go to expense, we enter our expense 500 rupees, we add it, we get a toast message, expense updated successfully and the expense get added here. So then we have our balance page here, here it will show what is your balance, it will subtract your expense from the income and it will show your balance so now in our income page uh, here we have created our variables we created objects we created a database variable and then on click add on click add button uh, we call the check income function now what this check income function does is whatever income we had entered whatever income we enter here in this text field it will take it convert to string and it will store it in this variable income here we store the current user id of the variable here we create a database instance then we have this dog ref so here db collection we get into our tree structure so here first we enter into our money there in document user id now if task is successful we take a snapshot and we will store it in document so now if the document exists we create a map we name the map fetched values and here whatever data is there in document we store it in fetched values here what we are doing is from the fetched values we are taking income and we are storing it in this variable now here what we do is we add our new income to whatever old income was already there and then we um, convert to string save it in income new then we call the update values function in the update values function again we create a database uh, again we get an instance of the database we get into the money collection of the particular user id and then we update the income there then when the income is updated we get a toast message income updated successfully the same happens in the expense also 
Next in balance, again we create the required variables firebase instance. Now here we have a function check balance, so which is used to check the balance. Now the current use we get the current user ID is user ID and we store it in this variable. We create a database instance. We go to that particular collection. Um, now if task is successful, we create, we take a document snapshot, then we store all the result in document. Now if that document exists, again we create a map with a key value pair and then we name the map fetched values. Now from fetched values, in fetched, whatever data is there in document, we store it in fetched values. Now our document has balance, income and expense data, everything we get stored in fetched values. Now here what we do is from the fetched values, we take the balance and we store it in this balance variable. Here from the fetched values, we get in expense and we store it in this variable. Now here we perform the subtraction. We take our income, we subtract expense from that income and we store the value in in. Now this in we convert to integer and then we store it in income new. Then whatever the value is there, we set that text to DB balance. We have named um, so this we have given the ID as um, BB balance so uh, next we store whatever income is there in BB balance